Hey guys, uh, wanted to do an update on this 59 Kingswood wagon. I've uh, actually got a lot of interest in this car. Uh, a lot of people have uh, complimented me on the car. I drove it this morning, which was uh, actually the first time I've drove this car since I brought it home. I did drive it home, but it was missing really badly. Uh, the plugs were uh, gas valve and uh, where it had been ran with old gas. But I went and uh, filled it up with good gas today. So I should have all that dead gas out of it. It's running great. Uh, not missing anything like that. The old car runs out really good. It drives good. Uh, considering how low the car is, this thing is low, low. For a, for a 59 model Impala, it's super low. But uh, anyway, a couple little things I'm gonna do today. Uh, like I said, I've already put new spark plugs in it. You'll have to excuse that hater. It is extremely cold here in East Tennessee today. But uh, anyway, like I said, I already put new spark plugs in it. I've got a new HEI distributor and I've got new spark plug wires and I've got a uh, one of the little small high torque starters. Uh, this is actually for like a 98 model Chevrolet Blazer with a 4.3. Those things sound awesome on these small blocks. Uh, it's pretty pricey. I believe that starter's right around $200, maybe a little over $200. Uh, if you don't have a commercial account, I wanna say it's like 220 or 230. But like I said, they sound great. Uh, it's just a lot better starter. And uh, you can buy the regular starter, you know, the big starter, like on a truck for about 50 bucks. But uh, I just like the way these smaller high torque starters sound. But uh, anyway, I'm gonna get the distributor put in it. I'm going to uh, throw the starter on at the wires and uh, kind of button up a couple little things. The heat gauge wire uh, is broke, I'm gonna fix that. I've gotta get an overflow tank for it, I've been driving it. Uh, just little things where the car's been setting. I'm just trying to get it to where I can drive it. Uh, I'm not so much concerned with the interior right now, I do wanna get around to that at some point, but I'm trying to find a matching set of tires and I'm having some difficulty doing that. Uh, the front, the front wheels are 17s and the rears are twins. So it's kind of hard to find a tire that I like uh, in these odd sizes that actually match. And I can't stand a mismatched tire. So uh, as a matter of fact, these on the front are BFGs and I don't know what those are on the back, uh, hand cooks or something. So anyway, uh, get some tires on it. Uh, like I said, those few little items that I'm doing today, I've got to get the, uh, I've got to get the uh, floor pan fixed behind the rear seat. Uh, there's no rust there, but we're gonna have to reshape that a little bit because if you have anybody other than myself in the car and you're going up a hill, the dry shaft likes to kind of just barely flirt with the floor pan a little bit and it squeaks, it's a little aggravating. So uh, as long as it's just me, you can't hear it and don't do it. But I am gonna get that fixed. Um, that'll be whenever Tim Dixon has some time. No rush on that either. Uh, I don't know why in the world this car shows up blue on this camera. It's actually turquoise. But uh, really liking this car. Uh, I had kind of planned on maybe going ahead and flipping it. I stayed after it for a long time. It's usually the chase that I enjoy the most. Uh, trying to buy something. Especially something that you can't buy, which was this car. Several people tried to buy it, I reckon, uh, from talking to some other guys. They were kind of interested in it, and they couldn't get it bought, but I did. So, proud of that. Here it is, and I believe I'm going to hang on to it for a little while. Now, there was some confusion. Uh, let me show you what I'm talking about. Primer is best done a video on this car, and he was showing these cross flags in the door panels uh, with that little thing on them. I've done some research. I can't really find anything on this. Uh, there's nothing on this car that will tell you exactly which engine that it came with other than the hood emblem. As you can see, this fender and this hood has been changed. This is not original to this car. Now, the VIN number will tell you whether it is a V8 or a six cylinder. This car did come out with a V8. Uh, some more, um, research I've done says that uh, if it has a ballast resistor, which is that right here, 
um, that it was a 348 car. Now, I don't know if that's been added, you know, throughout the years. I don't know why they would have added a ballast resistor. I don't know that that's an original 59 resistor, but the six cylinder and the 283 were supposed to have a resistor wire. So if you already had a resistor wire, I don't know why they would uh, add a ballast resistor. So I believe the car came out 348. If the car was tri-power, it would have had some uh, holes somewhere uh, right here on the firewall up above that ballast resistor for the coil, uh, which is the external coil here. Uh, you can see it there. Some of y'all are not uh, familiar with that. With the tri-power cars, they had three two-barrel carburetors. There was not room for that coil on the intake, so they moved it up to the firewall. And uh, this car has not had those holes drilled out, I don't believe, if I'm looking at the right thing. So I do believe this car came out with a 348 big block. Uh, I kind of looked around, thought about maybe putting a 348 back in it, but I'm not going to do that. Uh, I plan on driving this car. I drive all my stuff. Uh, if I own it, I drive it. I'm not going to let it sit in the garage. I'll jump in this car eventually once I get some little bugs worked out and I'll drive it to uh, my job. And it's a 120 mile trip there and back. So like I said, I drive my stuff. Nothing wrong with a 348. It's just kind of hard to find parts for them. If you have a little issue on the side of the road, I ran into the same thing with my uh, Buick. You can see here's some parts off that car from where I hit a cow. Uh, the tail lights, I bought those with swap me. They match, it's definitely not off the same car. I ended up putting that car back together and another guy painted it, so it's back on the road. Uh, but anyway, all that aside, I believe I'm gonna stick with a small block or maybe I might LS this car, I don't know. It's hard for me anymore to fool with something that's running good. I hate to tear something apart that that works well. And I believe this car is gonna, gonna work well. I do wanna get rid of the points. Like I said, I've got everything right there to do it. So we're gonna get rid of those points today. Uh, I might change out some of these pulleys, get rid of the short water pump, the old style water pump. Uh, and I'd like to put power steering on it at some point. Tim, I already done away with all the power assist, so, uh, that's good, I don't like the power assist. Nothing wrong with that system. Um, it's just hard to find parts and pieces for it. So like I said, something like this that I plan on driving, you know, if I wanna jump up and drive this thing uh, to Pigeon Forge, which I will in the spring, God willing, everything goes good, I'm still here and I still have the car, I will probably jump in this car at three or four o'clock in the morning and head toward Pigeon Forge, Tennessee in it. Uh, so I like to have uh, kind of modern stuff that if you have an issue on the side of the road you can make it to your nearest auto zone, advanced, O'Reilly's whatever and uh, get you you know a piece, part, whatever to get you back on the road to get you home so that's what I'm doing today starter uh, uh, HGI distributor and plug wires and I had left turn bill here, it was here I've been working on it uh, I done a video on it last night but I'm not going to post that for a while simply because Primer is best uh, has not got to do a video on it yet. Uh, he's, he's just now posting some videos. Um, they're not old videos, but they're not really. When I do a video, I usually post it that same night. I don't do many videos. Primer is best does a lot of them, so he just kind of gradually uh, posts them. Um, you know as he has time so as soon as his videos catch up i will post that one if that makes any sense all right guys y'all have a good and i'm gonna get busy and i appreciate all the prayers and thoughts of my wife uh, like i said she had a little minor surgery friday on her hand and uh, everything went well she's in the house with the baby they're taking a the nap so i'm going to jump on this thing uh maybe i'll get it done maybe i won't but anyways y'all have a good one and uh, we'll catch you on the next one thanks for watching see you later